we are here today to talk about how shifting one thing can make the difference rather than trying to shift everything. And we're talking about those, you know how in, at the beginning of the year, whenever we do our goals or we think, oh, I want to, I want to be like that, or I want to create something new. We think, okay, so I'm going to go on a diet and then I'm going to change this, how I think about this. And then I'm going to, and then our brain goes, oh, blah, blah. so I was just thinking about that this morning because I read a post on Instagram and I thought, you know, really shifting that one thing is making such a huge difference for me that I thought we would talk about that today. Yeah. So it's, and I get it because if you can just look at one thing differently, everything else ripples out. That's what we don't get is if we can shift one distinction or one paradigm in our life, then that ripples out. It has an effect on everything without us having to do anything for the ripples. It's like throwing one stone in the pond gives you ripples across the whole thing without having to work at it for everything. Yeah. So yeah, it's, and if we bring it to top of mind, then we're more aware of it. And I think too, I get overwhelmed when I, <clears throat> when I try to do too many things at once. And I'm, I have that tendency because I mean, my creative brain goes, Oh, I could do that. Oh, I could do that. Oh, I want to do this. And I, that applies also when I'm doing some personal development or noticing things that I want to shift about myself. Like for example, I took on health and fitness this year and I took on uh, my conversation around money and but I've noticed since December, well, it was just before the new year, I started looking at what was my conversation around money, what was my conversation around income. And then for some reason, I happened to be on a challenge and she had us writing a new statement every day, a belief statement. And then what are our thoughts about that? What are our feelings about it? What do we notice that's a conflict with that? Mm. And then writing our why. And then anyway, whatever the exercises were. And what I've noticed is it's, the shift is subtle. It's that one <laughs> small degree. And I, I, I didn't even think it was working, to be honest. There was oh, a yeah. in the middle of the what? Sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's, That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the middle of, I think, March, it was, I, I was so frustrated. And I, I got to writing it that day and I wrote my belief statement. And, you know, you're supposed to write how you feel from a positive perspective. And I was just like, I don't feel anything positive. So I just let it all out, all the negative stuff first. And then I was able to, so there's another clearing conversation right there. <laughs> but um, then I was able to create on top of that. Then what I noticed about two weeks ago, I went to, a, I went to um, an event and I met a bunch of people and I had a completely different experience with this group of people than I have in the past. People said, what do you do? And I, I shared everything. It was just so natural for me to share. And I was looking around later going, oh, I shared that I'm not just a branding consultant and a graphic designer, but that I'm doing these clear and create workshops and I want to be a documentary filmmaker. And like six months ago, I would have sort of stumbled across those last two things. Yeah. And then I also noticed I had, somebody had ordered a piece of art for me and then they asked if they could get a bigger size. And my, I had a very minor kind of, oh, now I have to give a refund. And then all of a sudden I went, but wait, I could make a print. And then my whole view shift, like I shifted yeah. it and it was a natural shift. It wasn't like I had to try really hard, but it was because I had been doing the work since December, yeah. but it was so subtle. I actually didn't notice it until the next day. <laughs> I went, oh, I, I kind of noticed what I had done because I do yeah. it every morning. And I was like, oh, I did that thing yesterday. So it was very subtle, but I see how it's impacting me, not just in my conversation around money, but I'm also take, I'm slowly taking better care of myself. It's like, I don't know. The ripples. Yeah, there's the ripple right there. And it's, I, so I think if we consciously focus on one thing and shift it, it's like Joanne, you said earlier, what was that thing about the airplane? Yeah. So, um, I'm, uh, James clear wrote a book called atomic habits and in it, he talks about how compounding habits are, or that one little shift. So if you, an airplane leaves from Los Angeles heading for New York, but it switches three and a half degrees, it will end up in Washington, DC. But 
you know, like in, when it hits Kansas, it's only, it's not that far off. Right. It's not until it crosses the whole country that that slight shift makes a huge difference in the destination or where it lands. Yeah. The same thing comes with a, sh a slight shift in how we perceive something or how we look at something. Just that one little shift will take us, you know, like up the graph way farther in the long run. And when you said that it didn't seem to be making a difference. Yeah. It doesn't at first. We have to just f have faith and trust mm -hmm. that it is making a difference. And these small little things will shift us to where we need to be or where we want to be. It's just like when you eat a hamburger, you don't notice a difference in the scales the first, like when you eat it. Mm -hmm. But if you continue on that path, like in that shift, then you do. But yeah. as you were saying, like one shift in how I was thinking about money or finances, then all of a sudden there it is. Yeah. yeah. And I know too, that when we put our attention on something, then, you know, my mom actually this morning was doing um, a testimonial video for somebody, her coach. And she was saying that, oh yeah, I never noticed before. Her coach says all the time as I do, but you know, I'm the daughter. So who listens to me? <laughs> um, <laughs> the, our energy flows where attention goes. Yeah. So when we do that, it's like it's more conversations Christine and I have together. Yeah. Just this morning, I got a new client and stuff has been rolling in my business. And it's like, oh, because I'm paying attention to it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm shifting the mindset around it. Because I'm just that one different perspective. Yeah. And the more attention we pay to it in the positive, not as I'm lamenting because my business is slow or whatever like that, but I'm actually excited. And, you know, yeah. so the more we're in conversation about it, the more it opens up possibility, the way I'd see things differently. Yeah. It's just like, I love that. And I, I think, I mean, and that feeling of overwhelm. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, yeah. Cause when I think about how many things I have to shift yeah. to get what I think I need to shift, Right. In order to make my business grow or in order to be a better mom or to have better health than I do. You're right. I get totally overwhelmed and then I stop completely yeah. rather than making any move at all. Yeah. It takes us out of the game, right? It's like, oh, yeah, it really does. And then I think also what I just got when you were sharing is when we have that overwhelmment, I don't know if that's a word, but maybe we can add that. to <laughs> Um, it, it also, we can't see anything else. We can't see mm, an opportunity mm -hmm. knocks on our door because no. we don't even notice it as that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. with that lady who ordered, who wanted a bigger size. I mean, I had done an original watercolor at that size and I was like, well, I can't, you know, make a watercolor bigger. It's original art. And then I'm like, well, I could make a print. Like I wasn't going to, but let's try that. So <laughs> I, you know, so there's, I mean, I get that's such a small example, but it's, in oh, it's perfect though. things that those are the foundational pieces that if we can start practicing those and practice, like we said earlier, isn't going to be looking like we think it will look like some days yeah. you're going to write all the negative shit in your journal, pardon my language, but you will. And then another day you'll write, I saw, I heard all the birds today and I'm so happy. Like it's, those it'll be yeah. subtle and and it's just I, I always go back to climbing the mountain like <laughs> I remember the first time I did the grouse grind and for those who don't live in Vancouver it's a hell of a hill it's not a hill it's a mountain the mountain you you kind of you get you know you think you're doing well like I'm I'm going yeah I can do this this is great and I'm like not even a quarter of the way up I'm like okay and then halfway up I was like okay I'm, I'm not going any farther but if I had stopped then, I wouldn't have made it to the top and had that amazing experience once I got there, right? Yeah. But there were this, the half between the quarter point and the, almost the top point, it was difficult, but I had to keep putting one step in front of the other or I wasn't going to make it to the top. Ain't nobody going to carry me down. <laughs> <laughs> so I just think it's like we forget that we're... Yeah. We're all human and we, we have those days. And so I think just the subtle shift is the, is if we can stick with it and the practice of it and just noticing that one thing and playing with that one thing. And 
Oh, I love that word. Play with it rather than be so significant and meaningful yeah. and, 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 and angst about it. Yeah. How many clients do I meet that are, or how many people do I meet that are like in the middle of their story? You can't even, they can't even recognize it as a story. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's like, okay, so if I could just have some fun with it you and if you're not, you can't have fun if you're in overwhelm. Yeah. You really can't like you. And I like that idea of like just putting everything aside because we always want, we're in this instant gratification. Yeah. I want it all to be better now. Yeah. I want my business to thrive now. I want to be an amazing mom now. I want to have the house of my dreams today. Yeah. But it, it defeats the purpose. If we well, could just manifest stuff instantly, we would think elephant and be crushed. Right. That's a really good point. It wouldn't be any fun. You wouldn't have that journey. So I think that, part, you know, when we go on, oh, I love this. It's just coming through. Like when we go on vacation, we save up all year for it. It's the anticipation. But when we get on a plane, we're miserable from the time we get to the airport to the time we get to our destination. And that's the part that we should really be enjoying. That's the part that lets us adjust, ah. reacclimatize from working, working, working to vacation. We need that middle part yeah. between the anticipation and the arrival of it, that journey part. I used to work for a resort. So I know when people arrived, they would arrive upset, mad, pissed off, cranky, all of those things. Yeah. And I always thought, you're on vacation. Like how long is it going to take you to actually enjoy your destination? Yeah. And sometimes it would take them days, but they had that time on the airplane. They had to, that time on the airport to adjust before yeah. they arrive. And I think that's what that 1% is. That's like our shift before we get what we really want or our goal or something yeah. so that we have time to adjust. I think that's so great because there's something to be said for being ready. And I remember, mm -hmm. like, I still have my vision board up there from three years ago. And I remember um, listening to Gabrielle Bernstein, and she was saying how she had Oprah on her vision board. And it was on there for 10 years before, I think she said 10 years before she met Oprah. And she also said, if it had happened the year she put it on there, she wouldn't have been ready to meet Oprah. So it's like, yeah. I think there's something about, climbing that like taking that step taking that step practicing 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 that prepares us it's like going to the gym yeah. for the first time i remember the very first time i went to the gym and i did a bench press and all i could bench press was the bar and i was like oh that's it i was surprised you know some people probably can't even do that i don't know the bar was weighs 45 pounds and at first i was in my head i was making myself wrong but then i went wait a minute these guys all started somewhere. Yeah. And you know, with we forget that it, it, we do. And it didn't take long to be able to do the bar. No problem. But that's what I mean. I had to keep going back and yeah. improve and get, you know, put a bit of, and you improve at each time you go by 1%. Yeah. Or 2% or 3%, not yeah. hundred percent or 50% or whatever. Yeah. So it's, it's, I just, I love this topic and it's so rich and I think we could, you know, this also leads me to thinking, oh, we could talk about story and beliefs and <laughs> that can be future topics that we discuss because I think there's a lot of stuff to unpack and look at and dive into. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So if you're watching us on YouTube, then please leave a comment, add to the questions, add to our conversation. Because for us, we, we get together because it is a conversation and we can kind of feed off each other and, and go back and forth. So join the conversation, leave comments below. Tell us if you've got an aha moment or if you have an example of how this has worked in your life and you can totally relate to it. And if you have topics that you want us to have a conversation about, because we um, are looking to you guys to see really what you want to talk about. Yeah. We're talking about what comes for, up for us because we talk several times a week now. And so it, we just started, you know, okay, what came up that we want to talk about? So this is what aha, our aha moments or stuff that's shown up in our lives and has made a difference. But we want to know about what is going to make a difference for your life as well. So definitely subscribe to our channels because you'll be watching them on both of us. Ding that little notification bell so you get notified when we put new conversations in the feed and share with the people that you love because 
because everybody can use a little conversation in their life. And yeah, I think that's all you say on a, on a social media thingy. I think so. And if, if this is on IGTV, then I think they all know what to do there too. They all know what to do. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thanks guys. Enjoy your day.